Alicante, town by town. Banieres de Mariola. Banieres de Mariola boasts the highest altitude in the province of Alicante, standing at 816 meters above sea level, which makes it a place of cold winters and frequent snowfall. The municipality is bounded by the Solana and Mariola mountain ranges. and is designated as a natural park because of its wonderful scenery and its environmental importance. It is an area that brings together a wealth of aromatic and medicinal plants, many of them endemic, and which is also the source of the river Vina La Po. The urban profile of Banieres de Mariola is marked by the image of its 12th century fortress, which stands on the top of a rocky promontory known as El Tosal del Aguila, the Tower of Eagles, a defensive enclosure around which stands the old town, whilst the newest part has been developed on the mountain slopes. Within the fortress, La Torre del Omenaki stands out. It houses the Festival Museum of the Moors and the Christians, which exhibits the official robes of each group and offers information about the history of this festive celebration held in honor of St. George, to whom a sculpture has been dedicated, which can be found at the foot of the castle. Banieres de Mariola is peppered with monuments, such as the 18th century parochial church of Santa Maria, the chapel of Santo Cristo, that of Santa Maria Magdalena, and the chapel of San Giordi. La Torre de la Font Bona, built in the 16th century with rubble work walls, houses the Municipal Archaeological Museum. Banieres de Mariola also enjoys fountains, such as La Font del Sapo, La Font de la Coveta, or del Cavallier, all set in natural, environmentally attractive landscapes. Among them, the Villa Rosario Park, where the paper museum is located. With objects that were used to manufacture paper, models of ancient mills, little smoking paper booklets, posters, and other unique objects. Banieres is predominantly an industrial town that, for many centuries, has taken advantage of the power produced by the currents of the Vina La Po in order to put in motion the flour and paper milk wheels and to spin machines used to make woolen cloth, a key part of the industrialization of the town. Some of these mills became paper and later cardboard factories. The textile factories were established in the mid-19th century and today remain the main source of income for many families in the town. 